In fact, many people don't realize that between Muslims and Christians, there is actually more that unites us than divides us. A lot more. We worship the same God, this Allah, the same God, the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, the God of Isaac, the God of David, the same God that we all worship. We all believe in the virgin birth of Jesus. As the two religions, we both believe that Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary. We revere Mary so much that she's the only female who is mentioned directly by name in the Quran. The only female. And you have a whole chapter in the Quran, Surah Al-Maryam, which is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Indeed, there are more mentions of Mary in the Holy Quran than in the whole New Testament. The whole New Testament. We all believe in the miracles of Jesus Christ. We believe as Muslims. He talked when he was in the cradle. We believe the miracles he performed to give sight to the blind and so on. And as Muslims and Christians, we all believe that Jesus will come back before the day of judgment to defeat the false prophet or the antichrist. We all share that common belief. But what is also more important is that the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told all of us as Muslims that amongst all the faiths that we have we as Muslims should be closest to the Christians. That is what he told us. That we as Muslims should be closest to the Christians. Because they are good people. So today, if you are a Muslim and you say you don't like Christians, it means you don't understand Islam. And if you are a Christian and you say you don't like Muslims, then you don't understand Christianity. There is more that unites us, the two religions, than divides us. There's so much more. But you allow, we allow people like the terrorists to hide under the cloak of religion to try to divide us. But we in Ghana, we are lucky. We are lucky we have people like Sheikh Dr. Osman Nusharbotu to continue teaching us the right way.